Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the how to stop vibration issues in the pump. Okay, so what we will discuss in this video, we will discuss about the what are the causes of vibration issues in the pump and how could we resolve that or we could stop that. Okay, so that your pump or your equipment could be safe, right? So mainly the pump vibration caused by the various factors. Okay, that factors could be your mechanical, right? For example, the issues related to soft and bearing that could be hydraulic. The issues could be with respect to like, like what is your flow is going on and what is required, what is your velocity is going on, right? And it could be operational as well, right? How you are handling the pump or your equipment, right? Let's start the first cause which can create the vibration. So that is your cavitation, right? So I have already prepared so many videos about the cavitation, how the cavitation occurs, what is cavitation. So here is the simple definition and the definition and the definition is that when the liquid okay which is going into the pump and that liquid pressure goes below the vapor pressure at that temperature so what happens that the bubbles create okay so when the bubbles form what happens that when the bubbles form so it creates the void space right and the all around that bubble that force that okay bubbles and then this bubble burst up but when this bubble burst up what happens that the rapid or the shock waves create. So when that shock waves create, it simply strike at the casing or the impeller and it damage the casing or the mechanical equipment or the impeller, right? So because of that also your vibration could be created, okay? So what we do to avoid the cavitation? So initially when we size the pump, so we ensure about the NPSH A and NPSH R right also we operate the pump above the vapor pressure right we also try to do the priming always and we also ensure that the priming is done there is no air locking right fine next there is misalignment misalignment also can create the vibration so what is the meaning of misalignment the misalignment means if the pump and if the pump and motor shaft are not properly aligned see this is your pump shaft and this is your motor shaft and both are aligned okay if that both are aligned in a in a right way so it is okay but if, if not then it can cause the excessive vibration and the misalignment can occur during installation and during the schedule maintenance when you when you done the schedule maintenance after that okay or as a result of thermal expansion or a mechanical shift over a time so we must ensure that when we take a round okay whenever the operator takes a round it is it's his or her responsibility to check that then imbalance in the pump what is the meaning of it it means that an imbalance impeller or rotor can cause uneven disturbance of mass leading to vibration obviously see see understand that this is your impeller and it is the heart in the centrifugal pump if it is imbalance so what will happen that there will be the uneven distribution of the mass obviously first of all it could damage the casing or it can lead to the vibration so most of the time it is the like it is the defect from the manufacturing side or it could be because of the wear or tear if some solids comes into the impeller okay and it could be because of the debris is lost into the impeller so we must ensure about it that what could be the reason of the vibration okay fine then the operating outside of the pumps design parameters see every pump has a design parameters or design condition and the vendors or the manufacturer always say that the please operate the pump within or nearby the best efficiency point okay if you will see the pump curve and we have already uploaded so many videos about it as well you can check it out so if you are operating your pump okay 
like outside the design parameters or design condition it could simply cause a hydraulic instability and increase vibration for example if you are operating your pump at a too low flow so it can lead to the recirculation so it means that if the flow will see if the flow will go into the recirculation completely so in the vibration there will be nothing it can also include the vib vibration right if your all flow will go to the recirculation right same if you are operating pump at a high flow rate okay uh, and above the above the your design condition so it could take or it, it will absorb too much power right so what will happen that obviously your motor could be damaged i hope you are understanding my point then there could be the hydraulic instabilities hydraulic instabilities means when you change the flow conditions such as, such as sudden increase or decrease in flow velocity so it can obviously uh, create a turbulence or a pressure fluctuation within the pump and leading to vibration it happens many times in a plant right then bearing wear or failure can you let me in the comments box what is the purpose of bearing in a pump so if the bearing worn or damaged so it can lead to improper movement within the pump okay and causing a vibration and this is mainly or often accompanied by the unusual noises next is your air entrainment see if the uh, air bubbles trapped in a fluid can cause instability and vibration as they passes through the pump this can often this can happen due to leaks on the suction side or improper priming see this is the suction side of the pump right so if by any chance the air or the gas entrain or trap within the suction side in the pump so it can simply create instability okay your flow will be decrease okay there will be the unstable condition will be occur and the vibration could be occur right that's why we always ensure that the the proper priming should be there or the self priming pumps are there okay or the air should be completely free air shouldn't be there okay for that what we do we fill the pump with the liquid right okay next the foundation or mounting issue foundation and mounting issue see if for example let's suppose if there is inadequate secured pump or weak foundation so obviously if the foundation is weak or the mounting is weak then it could also create a vibration right so it is very simple and it also happens many times if the foundation is not designed with respect to the weight of the uh, pump it could also create that vibration issues then the resonance okay if the pump's natural frequency matches the frequency of the external force resonance can create okay if the when the resonance can occur so it will lead to the amplified vibration and it, this can particularly damaging if not adverse so the resonance is also very very important so whenever the uh, the mechanical person or the vibrations person come into the picture or they go for the round so please always always ensure that he check the vibrations of the rotating equipment right then the loose or worn component means the loose bolts or the loose connections worn out parts such as coupling seals impellers can cause the pump to vibrate so regular maintenance is key to preventing these issues so then you will see that whenever there are the rotating equipment there is the schedule maintenance okay so what i will tell you i i will like i will suggest you that please follow the sop also please follow the sja or wp work procedure right whenever you see something unusual with respect to the rotating equipment or with respect to the uh, lines please tell the dcs person or your senior or the shift in charge okay so that they can address that issues right so that was the 10 12 issues which can create the vibration okay so i hope uh, you have learned something new about the vibration causes in the pump if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box 
so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you